Hi guys, it is Doc Shell and Teddy here. And Teddy is my stuffed animal who is really good at giving cuddles. And Teddy is also really good at listening to stories. So if you're learning how to read or you want to practice reading and maybe you don't have someone who has the time to sit next to you when you read, reading to a pet or a stuffed animal is really good because when you read out loud, it helps you learn how to read better because you when you read a word and you say like back well you know that's not a real word so you heard it better because you said it out loud so when you try again and say book you're like oh i got that word right because it sounds familiar so reading out loud is super important and you can always practice reading to your pet or even a teddy who's a good cuddler now, in this chapter, we're going to talk about how to have a growth mindset with grown-ups. And this is one of the hardest chapters for some kids. There are some kids who they and their grown-ups, their parents, their teachers, everyone gets along great. And if that's you, that's good. It's probably because you're good at communicating and you're kind and you're good at listening. But you know what? Some kids sometimes struggle with talking to grown-ups. And sometimes some kids struggle, maybe they might struggle talking to their teacher, but maybe they might be really good at talking to their parent or someone like that. And so it's really important that you have a grown up that you can trust and that you can talk to. And that's what Teddy and I really, really want for you. And that's what we're gonna talk about here. See, it's important to have grown ups because look at this. Grown ups help me to learn. Here we have a picture of a man and a child and they're riding their bicycles and here we can see that we've got two people who maybe are learning how to dance or do ballet and look at it's grown-ups who help us to learn here it says i learned to play games this says i learned about the outdoors this almost looks like maybe they were trying to go for a walk on a bridge or something when I help at home, I am being kind. So did you see that? Grown-ups help us learn and grow. But when we're home, we can help or even at school. I bet some of you at school love being the teacher's helper. You love collecting papers. You love putting the scissors away carefully. But if your parent asked you to clean up the papers in your room, would you do that? Mm, probably not as fast as you would do it to help your teacher. That's important that we learn from grown-ups, but we also help grown-ups back. So when I am home, when I help at home, I am being kind. I can't turn the page, Teddy. You need to help me turn the page. There we go. Let's see how you can help at home. Sometimes I help in the kitchen. Maybe you put the dishes in the dishwasher. Maybe you stir the pot when your family's cooking. Sometimes I help put clothes away. I can talk to a grown-up whenever I need help. Let's read our final thought. Helping others is a good thing. So in the earlier chapter, we learned that we can help our friends. In this chapter, we learned that grown-ups can help us, but we can also help grown-ups. And when we take turns helping each other, that is all about having a growth mindset. All right, well, this is Teddy and Doc Shell, and we'll talk to you soon in our next chapter, which is about discovering who you are.